that's kind of like an issue because you will struggle with some high balls not really using legs not using the hips there is no drop loose the wrist bam, all the way and heavy machine and then suddenly that back swing always trying to step up open right his face the palm is open there is not enough drive through and the finish is too tight here too high bam. but after the drop it's all the non-dominant arm What's up guys, welcome back to another 10 fit video. Today I'm going to share with you the most common problems and issues on two-handed backhand, right? And then I'm going to share some solutions and ways to fix them. Let's get into it. One of the most common problems, turning and keeping the racket too low, right? Which maybe it won't be that big of a problem. There are still some pros playing, but I would always say that that's kind of like an issue because you will struggle with some high balls, right? It's going to be tougher. And also you kind of waste some potential energy. So the mistake is slow swing, right? Fix it, rack it up and then drop it. Rack it up. Drop it. The next mistake is being too tight and using only upper body, right? So not really using legs, not using the hips, just here, right? So that looks like, a, right? Separation, you gotta engage, pull together. So it's like, you know, you're playing with body. That's tennis, playing with body, so. Up. The next mistake we have, very tight wrist, right? So maybe there is swing here, but the wrist is tight and then there is no drop, right? There is no drop. So it's like this, right? You can also play like that, but you're limited. You cannot create some top spin. So the correct way, drop, loose the wrist, bam, right? Up, bam, you create some top spin. Up, bam. Next up, not using enough of that back hip. So when you finish the shot, it's like, bam, right? You're kind of stuck, you're stuck here, right? Instead, bam. So always trying to step up. Another mistake, not being aware of the importance of the non-dominant arm, right? So just kind of playing with the, maybe with this arm, whereas the non-dominant arm should really help a lot there, right? Here you're pulling with a dominant arm, but after the drop, it's all the non-dominant arm pushing here, right? So making sure that you are aware of that, relying on that. It's here, coming from that arm. And then another mistake is the racket goes just here, right? So there is no enough swing.